warm welcome to this special episode of ET Governments, Good Governance and Better Security Leadership Series. My name is Anup Verma. Today, our guest for this special episode is Mr. J.S. Gangwar. Mr. Gangwar is a senior IPS officer, currently serving as Additional Director General of Police in Government of Bihar. He is well known for his initiatives for investigating and curbing cybercrime in Bihar. He had earlier served as the Additional Director General in the Economic Offenses Cyber Crime Unit for six years. The topic of today's conversation with Mr. Gangwar is the initiatives that the Bihar Police is taking to spread cyber awareness and investigate cyber crimes. With his long experience in dealing with cyber issues and other law and order issues, he's the right person to talk to about the state of cyber security in Bihar. Welcome, Mr. Gangwar. Thank you, Mr. Anu Farmaji, and thanks uh, ET Government Initiative for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts. So, uh, Bihar is not getting, I think, the right kind of representation in the media. Uh, yeah, the law and order issues in Bihar are often highlighted. So, uh, how, how do you view the law and order currently uh, situation in, currently in Bihar? See, law and order situation currently in Bihar is perfectly under control and things are perfectly under our control and citizens are enjoying their rights. They are moving late in the nights. If you come to Patna and any other uh, towns of Bihar, you will find late night movies have become a hit in Bihar and shops and malls and everything is open till late evening. Women are driving scooties. They are in large numbers shopping around. So law and order situation on all the fronts are, is uh, perfectly under control. And if you see the data of the uh, NCRB also, on the crime front, like uh, heinous crimes like murder, duquity, loot, kidnapping, Bihar, we have maintained good lead over other major states. And we are currently in a very good security scenario in all the fronts. Uh, there are reports which suggest that India ranks among the top five targeted uh, countries by cyber criminals. Re uh, recently, it was in the news that some eminent doctor in uh, Patna, he lost a few crore rupees to cyber criminals. So what initiatives are being taken by the Bihar police to protect the citizens of, and businesses in the state from cyber attacks? See, cyber crime is an increasing threat all over the uh, world and in the different parts of our country as well. Uh, the state police of the different state governments are grappling with this mammoth uh, challenge which has come in front of us and the challenge comes primarily for two three reasons one is the young population secondly the young population connected with a very very cheap mobile phone and third our data connectivity has become so good now easily you can have 3g 4g even 5g connections available mm -hmm. so with all these things things uh, put together Mm, the data or the digital traffic has increased so much, so has the opportunity for the cyber criminals to strike. The cyber crimes are known by a few unique features compared to the physical crime. Like in Dukwati, you have to go to a particular bank or shop to rob it. You have to be physically present. Then you have to take that property physically and you have to go out and you have to plan your escape route and you have to avoid police checking bandobas and naka all that while on the other hand a cyber criminal sitting miles and miles away 24 by 7 he doesn't need any day or night to happen in the for the decority to take place normally they will choose the night as the their, their uh, time of his strike so cyber crim criminal can strike 24 by 7 any time of the day they can remotely connect your uh, networks. They can enter into, and while they enter, they, they enter stealthily so that nobody comes to know that you have entered into their system. They can configure, put a malware into the systems and take out your money. And you may not come to know unless you tally your uh, figures later on. So, so the impact of the crime may be seen later. Stealthily, you can work. Remotely, you can work. A number of criminals can join together, sitting from different computers across the country or even across the different countries in the global. So that way, I would say the cyber uh, 
crime puts in challenge to all the police officers how to stop this internet connected network of cyber criminals operating in different time and geographical uh, domains and and they work stealthily so that is the biggest challenge physical security is okay physical security the, the you would be seeing that decority and robbery has uh, min, has been minimized across the country across the global on the other hand these digital crime cyber crime internet crimes are on the so this is the biggest challenge uh, we, we are also facing the similar problems but we have taken number of steps to reduce that uh, what you said i think uh, this makes it uh, uh, clear that uh, cyber awareness is probably the way to go if people are aware and uh, they know what kind of problems are there uh, in their devices or systems they might not fall prey to the cyber criminals. When you are in the economic offenses unit, you started a very good initiative called the Cyber Senani WhatsApp group. And that became very popular also. And it had also a very uh, important role to play during the COVID pandemic. So uh, can you tell me about your experience of the uh, starting the Cyber Senani group and what kind of uh, outcomes that it gave? Anupji, you have rightly pointed out a very significant gap which is still happening in our country is the, the literate population and the digital literate population. There is a huge gap. People are having mobile phones in their hand, but they are not digitally aware of the dangers your small equipment in your hand can pose the moment you are connected to internet. We have taken a number of initiatives uh, for increasing the cyber awareness and education among all the sections of the society. One of the initiatives which we had taken was in the year around 2017 and 18 was the Cyber Senani. We have designated all those uh, WhatsApp group as the Cyber Senani WhatsApp group. And there was, there was a uh, four level of the Cyber Senani network. I will explain briefly. At the state level, there was a Cyber Senani Apex group in which the ADGs, DGs, and all the senior officers were the members. At the district's level, the SP was having a WhatsApp group in which the SP was the main member and there was a district level officers. Third level was the SDPO level. And the fourth was, and the most uh, crucial, and the cutting edge level was the SHO level at the police station level. At that time, when we initiated, the limit of the WhatsApp group members was 256. So in one WhatsApp group, you can put uh, maximum of 256 members at that time. Now the increase, uh, the, the limit has increased now. And in other uh, like Signal and Telegram, you can have uh, increased number of member participation. So considering that 256 to be the limit that time, we had, uh, we had created WhatsApp group at the Thana level. We have given SHO a task that minimum 200 members you will make within that police station who will be member of that WhatsApp group, be it doctors, be it engineers, be it social scientists, be it uh, 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 women uh, working in colleges, in the assemblies, uh, in the different fields. So uh, that was our criteria and that WhatsApp group was functional around the clock. Whenever a crime used to happen, somebody would report this crime has happened in their WhatsApp group. Immediately, SHO will take cognizance. So all the 250 members will, will be aware that, okay, such crime has happened. What, whenever any other advisory was to be issued, we post in that WhatsApp group. So every 250 members of that SHO group. And mind you, in Bihar, we had that time around 1,200 police stations. So 1,200 police stations, each multiplied by minimum 200. So it was around 2.2 lakhs members at the SHO level. Now, if one engineer is the member of the SHO group, the engineer was also a member of his engineering WhatsApp group or his college group or his family group. So if he spreads that message of awareness to his family groups or his engineering groups or his work groups, so secondary, secondary, tertiary, and so on, he can spread the message number of times. But primary membership itself was around 2.5 lakhs. Later on, what we did, we increased this experiment to other departments also. 
so bihar government different departments initiatives we we uh, we integrated our departments like farmers uh, they were making all lot much of online payments so we talked with agriculture department so they made their nodal officer for cooperative and other things so whatever messages we were posting the educative message or the awareness message they were spreading in their whatsapp group so agriculture whatsapp group educational whatsapp group college whatsapp group so many whatsapp group is spread over and the whole hierarchy of such cyber senani whatsapp group was created and which was virtually like uh, a network community of uh, such people and we were working very fine during covid times also um, such cyber senani were very useful uh, the lockdown messages or the other messages we used to spread through the cyber senani network so that was our initiative and uh, slowly and slowly we we uh, went into the other departments also so i think this is a good example of a cost effective uh, mm -hmm. strategy to i mean um, uh, maintain uh, law and order and yes. control cyber yes. crime spread awareness yes yes everybody was looking forward to yes. police whatsapp group ki aaj kya message aaya uh, what message yes. what advisory what uh, thing what covid directions and and uh, that is um, uh, we used to say that covid times mein logon se distance bana ke rakho physical distance bana ke rakho and we used to say that uh, um, physical distance to covid mein bana ke rakhna hai बट uh, जो आपके साइबर सेनानी हैं उसमें आपको दोस्ती बना के रखना इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एंड कम्बाइटिंग साइबर क्राइम्स सो वॉट स्टेप्स है बिहार पुलिस टेक इन टू क्रिएट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सच एज साइबर फोरेंसिक लैब्स फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग दिस क्राइम्स in bihar uh, under the aegis of bihar police we have taken number of initiatives uh, by which not only the detection of the cyber crime but the investigation and the prosecution of the cyber crime is be is being uh, taken care of two three examples i'll i'll cite under uu uh, the unit specialized unit of economic offences and cyber crime a sophisticated cyber forensic lab which we have created since august 2022 and this lab is functioning 24 by 7 and national cyber helpline which is 1930 that center has also opened under uh, the office of the eou economic offense unit and it is functioning 24 by 7 uh, any public can dial one nine, just simple number 1930 and their complaints are registered uh, and we investigate that way just uh, i want to be uh, i want to make you aware regarding this that our ranking national ranking based on uh, the number of calls which we are receiving at the national cyber crime portal 1930 in bihar we are having the largest number of call reporting we are number 1 in the country we are handling around 4000 cyber complaints daily on our portal so as far as registration and the recording of complaint is concerned we are taking utmost care that each and every complaint is registered we are number 1 in the country the fir conversion the based on the complaint the fir is converted we are number 5th in the country and uh, holding of money because most of the time cyber criminals take out uh, uh, efforts to take your money out from the system so we uh, as a police officer our first effort is to hold that money otherwise cyber criminal will take that siphon of the money so regarding holding we are again first in the country while returning to the public means the money which is being held by the police should be returned to the victim in that parameter we are little uh, lagging we are tense and primarily we are lagging because uh, the courts uh, we have to seek permission from the courts that uh, okay you have seized this money 
you have informed this money suppose my, my account is in state bank the criminals have taken this money to some access bank so we have to hold this money and after holding we have to take courts permission that is taking little time some of the courts in the country like gujarat and other like himachal pradesh they have taken proactive steps steps and they are directing that uh, okay even if there is a delay in uh, formal uh, formal investigation and the report the money should be refunded to victim so we are taking that steps uh, currently we are 10th so we are taking all these steps for recording registration uh, 24 by 7 uh, our lab is working as as well as our cyber crime reporting portal uh, 1930 helpline center is also working so that way we are taking all these steps regarding investigation we are uh, having sophisticated cyber equipments forensic equipments as well as the sophisticated software with us which we uh, tackle all the cyber crimes which are reported to us as well as reported in the different districts one more initiative we have taken is in the last one year in bihar we have established around 44 cyber crime police stations which they have been established in the last one year itself so each district of uh, bihar is having at least one uh, cyber crime police so that um, we are working and uh, apart from cyber crime police station we have also working 44 cyber uh, and social media units they are also working so the recording registration cyber police station all this infrastructure has been in place our laboratories are in place and everything is working whenever a crime comes to us we record them truthfully we record them as far uh, as far as possible 100% we try to hold the money which the cyber criminals want to take out and we want to return the money so at the country level the latest figures i have told you and we are striving hard so that we give best satisfaction to the citizen who are the victim of the cyber fraud and cyber crime especially the financial crime. now one of the reasons that uh, cyber crime evokes such a uh, big reaction in the masses uh, is that every aspect of our lives i slowly uh, getting this this ties banking insurance healthcare education and in the personal information that we release to the social media so everything is available online and if it is gets hacked then we are in trouble so uh, what steps are you uh, taking to make the users digitally uh, connected devices aware of the cyber risks in the world, so that they don't fall, fall prey to the cyber criminals one of the initiatives that you have taken was the cyber tsunami groups and any other i mean uh, institutional mechanism that the bihar police has uh, evolved to two initiatives cyber yes two initiatives we have also uh, taken uh, one is the cyber chopal the other is the cyber sambad cyber chopal and cyber sambad are the two initiatives in which we go out to public like businessman their shop their establishment all that market area we go and we hold a cyber chopal we tell all the businessmen when you are taking money online when you are your customers are paying you online what effort what um, security should be in place we we go with a holistic solution like jewelry shops we always tell them that uh, you also put cctv because cctv gives police an sure advantage in case of physical crimes so whenever we go during this dashara puja and festival times whenever the market visibility is more we go in the uh, police uh, teams and go to the shopping area go to the shopkeepers and tell them you start from cctv install cctv because lot many cases are solved through cctv and uh, we take out their uh, uh, drives we sees them as per the procedure we get the photograph of the criminals entered into that shop and we match from the database we have and lot many crimes are solved through cctv so that is one part 
and the other cyber tips we give them upi payments the qr code payments online payments how to look for a proper words while you type your url like icici the first i is i it is not l so if the criminal puts an uh, fake website in which the icii the first i is l then you get confused like bank of baroda the o can be written as zero baroda o can be written as zero and in that url you will easily click it that is a bank of baroda site but it will be zero so you will be misled to some other malware so all these small and very very practical tips we give to the shop during this cyber chopal and during cyber sambad we go to colleges both the degree colleges of women as well as uh, the other degree colleges in which both boys and girls are there so that lot many things are happening in internet not only the financial the other social crimes which is there like like teasing like profile uh, your uh, profile hacking and uh, other thing instagram pics and all those things are happening so we tell them uh, don't make friends uh, to unknown people don't share your id to unknown people don't try to become popular by going to different sites and posting your pictures and all that so so many things we teach them so other than cyber senani which like you sit at home and you are part of the whatsapp group you receive news and message on whatsapp that is one part cyber chopal we go to shops and cyber sambad we go to colleges and make young people uh, aware of the uses of technology so these steps we are taking and we are hopeful that with the with the knowledge and with the education lot many things can be under control the prime minister recently talked about uh, the problem of deep fake videos uh which can also have an impact in the elections and other uh, i mean uh, pro- pro- personal problems to people also so now we are in the age of emerging technologies like ai ml data analytics and making deep fake videos uh, have become quite simple anyone with a simple computer can create videos putting anyone's picture and uh, it's hard for a uh, ordinary person to differentiate so how are you ensuring that the uh, infrastructure and the training of the uh, police personnel is up to date to detect such videos and to counter them in time uh two things uh, you have asked in this question one is how to detect the fake videos and deep fake videos and audios mm-hmm. people often uh, as you have rightly said people often fall prey to such deep fake videos and audios but these normally are of the social nature like uh, if uh, is, uh, some sports personality or some film personality is propagating some view point through some fake uh, uh, video or audio message so normally uh, financial crimes are not happening through deep fake videos normally unless some personality come and says that i am so and so please click this link and you believing him to be the, that person you click that link so otherwise normally these are the social crimes in which you make false uh, identities you create false groups and you become member of that group and then you believe that you are part of that group but actually you are not so we 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 teach when we go for cyber senani or cyber sambad or cyber chopal we make aware of these things also during elections we made an experiment and we told everybody through our social media of bihar police which is quite functioning these days and uh, i think we are third or fourth in the country right now bihar police social media is, uh, is uh, viewed by more than 13 lakh people we have presence on facebook we have presence on instagram we have on youtube we have on uh, former twitter that is x now so in all these four um, social media platforms we have a presence and around 13 lakh people are our members i think up maharashtra or two three more states are ahead of us we are fourth in the country lot many people watch our advisories and videos on the social media also other than the cyber senani so we make them aware during elections we said whenever a video comes to your notice 
before circulating it to others, please post it on our website. We will fact check it and we will tell whether it is a fake or whether it is a true. So not much of not much of problem. I would say not even a single problem of fake video or some political person saying something uh, and advertently was posted in the media during uh, Lok Sabha elections, uh, which recently held this year in India. So that was our commitment that before circulating video, please circulate to our website. We will fact check it because if you circulate it and if it is a false, you will be guilty. You will be guilty of three things. One, IPC crime. Second, you will be guilty of the cyber crime. And third, you will be guilty of the election office because it's election time. We make this aware people through all our social media and people uh, obeyed us rather, rather in a disciplined way. And not a single matter came to us where an inadvertently or otherwise a fake social media profile of any political person during elections. Because of our proactive, we promised them, you give us the video, we'll verify it. So that was our commitment and we fulfilled it. So that is one part. Second part is you are saying how we are gearing up uh, during uh, in Bihar police for mitigating the cyber crime and their risk. See, we have an elaborate procedure of buying uh, hardware and software. A lot many things are being said about whatever happening in the West and the Middle East right now. The devices are being exploded, right? So we are having a uh, very deliberate uh, system of procurement and purchase. First, we check the test report from accredited, uh, accredited laboratories. Only those partners and those firms are allowed to participate in the tender procedure of VR police, which have a accredited test report for that particular sample. After that, the bids are open, tender procedure, uh, procedure is completed. And if they are ready to supply, then we have a technical user committee. The technical user committee again verifies the specification which we want to purchase and the specification which we, they are going to give us. If they are matching only this, then we allow them further. Otherwise, the TOC or the uh, technical user committee rejects them. After that, they are, when they supply their things to us, hardware or software, there is a user committee. The user committee again test that, and if the need be, we again sample uh, test those things. Right. And then, if anything is found faulty at that level, we return the product. We don't pay them. So, elaborate procedure we are adopting, and lot many uh, hardware and software we have purchased over the years. We are fully ready and uh, our uh, lot much of training we have given. Police officer training is another area in which we have focused in the last two years. Uh, our training labs are continuously working, either testing the uh, thing which we have found or they are giving training. So they are never idle. Either the training session is organized or they are testing, they are busy in their testing. So um, around more than 3,000 IOs have been trained in last one year. And this year also around 1,000, more, more than 1,000 officers have been uh, trained. Because of the election period, uh, the progress is a little slow. But uh, by the end of this year, again, we'll catch up. So we update on latest gadgets, tools, technologies, procedures, software, hardware, and also on the latest modus operandi of the cyber police. So, so training is another big area in which Bihar police is focusing. Other than creation of the awareness and the creation of the network of the cyber police. That is what we are doing. And the uh, event in the Middle East that you mentioned, that shows how uh, ordinary communications devices, electronics equipment can be weaponized. Yes. That and uh, cause, I mean, uh, huge problems. Yes. So it's a good thing that Bihar police is preparing for this and is prepared for this. And you have uh, mechanisms in place for uh, ensuring that the only the right kind of equipment is uh, uh, comes into the system. 
yes yes we are, we are trying very hard and we are learning all the lessons all the way i it's think very, this uh, it's a very course. dynamic scenario it's a very yes, dynamic sir. scenario yeah earlier the uh, attacks cyber attacks used to be passive but yes. this uh, attacks shows that they can be kinetic yes they yes, can be i mean uh, it can sport like a weapon it is a weapon it has become a kinetic you have you have a potent uh, uh, technology of missile into a phone which yes. was a communication device you have made it a missile you have made it a bomb so it is a very very kind and of it is situated kind of really close yes. to the uh, body of the person who is the target yes yes so i mean it's a very i mean uh, uh, dangerous situation very challenging area very, very challenging, challenging area very challenging area so the rigors of the procedure of purchase and the outsourcing of the purchase and the vendors through which we purchase and the kind of things which we are purchasing and even the ha- software which we are purchasing uh, purchasing maybe they are having some ma- malware with them so that is what is the the emerging challenges and we are thinking we are moving ahead we are learning from the situation it's a very dynamic situation but we are we have understood the the dynamics of it and we are working to it i think most of it happened due to uh, by overheating of the battery they released certain software which led to the overheating of the battery and the device exploded that's what that, I, I that, that is still to be understood how this happened but this is a very potent way of uh, weaponizing and uh, communication uh, in the last two, uh, two to five years what kind of, what are the key achievements of bihar police in the area of cyber security and uh, other such threats see uh, uh, in the last 4 5 years uh, one thing is very clear that we have moved ahead with the times we have taken digital uh, advancement in the country which is uh, being taken uh, which is uh, already taking place in the right spirit we want to make bihar uh, citizen the organizations the business establishment the student community the women the children who are using this technology to be safe and move ahead because it is a 24 by 7 technology if i don't believe if i don't trust my internet if i don't trust my whatsapp if i don't trust my facebook how will i communicate in modern world all all the exams are online all the advertisements are online all everything we watch entertainment everything on on online so a digital safe infrastructure is the priority smart city is also taking shape in patna so we want to aware i think in 5 years we have made uh, through cyber senani cyber chopal and the cyber sambhat initiatives to make people aware continuously our social media platform which are having 13 lakh uh, visibility every every uh, the membership which we can say we are making everyone aware of the dangers of the cyber uh, uh, cyber infrastructure or the cyber network or the cyber ecosystem and how to be aware see even if the dangers are there you cannot tell the people shut down your internet go back to your era of the earlier pre internet days we cannot tell them so while being aware of the dangers of the cyber crime we want to make them aware so that they feel safe and confident and bold enough and whenever they find an anomaly they must be able to report it so regarding reporting i have already told we are number one in the country cyber crime reporting platform 1930 or even their uh, www.cybercrime.gov.in their portal in both the counts we are number 1 we are reporting recording everything and then we are investigating we have developed fully uh, functional cyber lab we have trained our uh, investigators and cyber police stations also work so in this ecosystem our endeavor is simple safe internet safe practices move ahead with the time and whenever there is anomaly only bihar police will not be able to find the citizen should be able to find that anomaly and report to us so that is our endeavor is and during elections i must tell again 
that not even a single deep fake video or deep audio was circulating in the area because we made everybody aware. If you circulate, you'll be found guilty on all the three counts: IPC crime or the cyber crime and the and the uh, and the election el el electoral offences. So don't circulate. Verify. We always say verify first before circulating. That is our often repeated mantra on uh, cyber safety is before circulating verify because all this malware all these things how they come to us somebody sends me a link that this is something of who has sent me why he has sent me he doesn't know he just forwarded so we always tell don't forward unless you verify don't forward so so uh, cyber uh, world is a different world is a different from physical world it 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 is a different world in that world there are different rules there are different regulations the speed in the cyber world is at the rate which is much much higher than the physical world and if in this in the super highway of the cyber network or the internet somebody is driving fast he should be very very careful it's a very fast world things can happen in seconds and minutes so we want to make people aware and make them feel confident and bold enough to move that is what our endeavor is and i think bihar police has taken uh, steps in all the directions making citizen aware investigation reporting laboratory and everything we are confident that as the country progresses as the other states progress bihar is also progressing the number of handsets are roughly around 7 to 8 crores now in bihar they are they are almost uh, number 2 in the in the in the country now in the out of districts so we are moving ahead the connectivity is going to villages also so our endeavor is to make everybody aware of the uh, potential risk and how to move that is our what our endeavor is so uh, prime minister has enthused the country by articulating the vision of uh, vikshit bharat you hope that uh, as you said that uh, bihar should progress with the country bihar will also become vikshit bihar uh, uh, bihar yes we I are sure think. we it will be vikshit bihar and it yes. will be surakshit bihar both vikshit bihar so uh, as you said uh, as, as bihar moves towards vikshit uh, bihar so what uh, new initiative should the uh, bihar police take to ensure that the vikshit bihar is also surakshit bihar any uh, initiative so that can be planned uh, judging by the way the technology is moving one thing is uh, i still feel that integration of technology is still to take place in bihar lot many things are happening in the different departments on the cyber front or in the technology or even the ease of doing business so ease of doing business is something where uh, uh, public comes with a certain idea in the mind how to go ahead so different departments have to collaborate together registration verification licensing uh, the other things and all that uh, right now uh, i must tell you that bihar police has implemented the ministry of external affairs project of e passport or the m passport the mobile passport uh, we were lagging behind when i was heading that branch we put uh, we have given tablets to each police station now and whatever whenever you apply for a passport it doesn't go to first you used to go to sp office it will be downloaded physically then it will be bundled and it will go to sho he will verify now all the applications come directly to the tablet of uh, police station and they verify and they upload documents from there only so the number of days it has taken to complete a passport verification has come down drastically it's a well below 20 days now we want to reduce it further similarly driving licenses and other things similarly the other departments so i think the integration of technologies in the different departments and the system should be such that they collaborate and they talk to each other smoothly that's what should be the uh, the uh, effort of the bihar uh, individual departments have taken initiative but the combined uh, efforts of all the departments should be integrated now 
and the time has come when we should have an integrated approach to all the citizen centric services many of them are still available online but still more integration is needed once we integrate all those technologies the ease of doing business would automatically come into the system and therefore it will uh, pave a way for a viksit bihar and for a surakshit bihar thank you mr nunga so very nice talking to you and you gave a good description of the initiatives that have already been taken and can be taken in the future thank you thank, thank you. you so much thank you